Hello, hello, everybody. Hello, hello. Hello, everybody. Good evening. Hello, Good hello. Evening. Hello, teacher. Perfect, perfect. How is everybody? Let me see on the people we, we have connected. <clears throat> All right, perfect. We have a good number of students at this moment. How are you doing, Stephanie? Tell me, how are you feeling today? I am good. <laughs> good. What about your day? What, what can you tell us about your day? Um, mm, mucho trabajo. A lot of work. A lot of work. Oh, really? <laughs> yes. Ooh. All right, all right. But how are you feeling today? Are you feeling with energy? Do you have energy for today, Stephanie? Energy, full energy. <laughs> full energy, yes, yes, I love that. Thank you, thank you so much. All right, I see more people connected and that's amazing. What about you, Miss Yvette? How is everything? Hi, teacher. Hello, hello. Okay. You're okay? No, oh, perfect, yes. perfect, perfect. Okay. Excellent, thank you so much. How was your day? Was everything okay? Yes, okay. Uh -huh. All right, all right, thank you so much. I see more people connecting. What about you, Michelle? How are you doing today, Miss? Miss Michelle, hello, hello. How are you doing? All right, no problem. What about for you, Miss, 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 Miss Erica? How are you doing? Um, I'm fine. I'm the relaxed day. <laughs> Perfect. Hey, that's amazing. That's good to know. Thank you. Thank you so much. More people connected. What about you, Carlos? How is everything for you, sir? I am here, teacher. Perfect. How is everything? How are you feeling today? I'm very strong. All right, a lot of energy today, mister? Yeah, perfect. every day. <laughs> perfect, perfect. All right, thank you. Thank you so much. That's amazing. Okay, people, thank you so much. I see more of you connected and that's amazing. I'm really happy to have all of you today in this video conference. Let's get started by, you know, checking attendance, all right? Checking attendance. But before that one, let me see Alexander. Oh, very tired. That is what he's saying in the in the chat, right? Very tired. Oh my goodness. All right. Sorry, mister. Sorry, sorry for that, that you're still at work. But thank you so much for the effort. I know Brian is already here, so let's continue with the attendance. You know, you're the first one. Then I go with Ashley. Hello, Miss Ashley. Are you here? Hello, teacher. Perfect, perfect. How are you doing today, Miss? Good teacher. Perfect. Welcome, welcome to the class. Thank you, thank you. I appreciate that. Let me see more people. Then I have Miss Yvette Sandoval. Tell me. Nice. Thank you so much for your confirmation. After that, ben, Brenda Patricia. 
Miss Brenda Patricia. Hello, hello. All right, don't worry, I move on to the next person, Carlos Antonio. Yes, sir. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you. Then let me see. Then I have Eduardo Garcia. <clears throat> Good evening. Perfect, perfect. How are you doing today, mister? Uh, I'm fine. Uh, very tired now. <laughs> okay. My goodness, I understand. But thank you so much, mister, for the effort to be in the class. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I continue, Miss Erika Mercedes. Present. The relaxing day for Erika Mason. <laughs> Great. Then I go with Stephanie. Hey, hey, hey. Present. Stephanie. Perfect. Thank you. After that, I go with Estrella Dulcinea. I'm here too. Oh, perfect. How are you doing, Miss? Uh, I'm tired, but it's okay. Okay, all right, yeah. but now, ready for class, for practice? Yes, ready. Amazing, that, that's great, that's good to know. After that, I go with Fernando Rafael. Mr. Fernando Rafael, hello, hello. Fernando Rafael. All right, I continue, and after that, I have Francisco Castro. Francisco. Present teacher. Perfect, perfect. Thank you so much for your confirmation. After that, I have Miss Griselda. Miss Griselda Grande. Hello, hello. I guess not available yet. I move on. Herbert Danilo. Herbert, Herbert, hello, hello. Okay, probably not available at this moment. I move on. It is Paola. It is Paola. Okay, I continue. Carla Elizabeth Valencia. Miss Carla Elizabeth. Mm -hmm. Here, teacher. Perfect, perfect. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you. Then Kenya Patricia Portillo. Present. Thank you so much, Miss. And Miss Kenya Raquel, I know you are active in the chat, so thank you so much for that confirmation. Mr. Levi Martinez. Levi Martinez. Hello, hello. Okay, I continue. Lucy Esperanza. Present teacher. Thank you, Miss Lucia, and thank you for the confirmation, Mr. Martinez. Thank you so much. The next person, Michelle. Hello, hello, Michelle. Michelle, Michelle, Alejandra. All right, I move on. Nelson Omar. Hello, hello, Omar, Nelson Omar. Okay, I continue, Norma Margarita. Miss Norma Margarita. All right, I continue, thank you so much. Mr. Osmaro, hello, hello, Osmaro. All right, I continue, and I go with Paola. Hello, teacher. Thank you. Welcome, welcome. Thank you so much. Then I have Rafael. Rafael Eduardo. All right, I continue and I finish the list with Miss Emilia. All right. Thank you so much for your confirmation over the chat. Welcome, welcome everybody for the class, as I mentioned earlier. All right, people, let's get into business. I am here me. present. Thank you, Osmara. Thank you so much for your confirmation. I appreciate that. 
Perfect, perfect, perfect. All right, great. Now, people, let's check on this one. Tell me, what class are we working on? Class number? 18. 18. 18. Exactly. Class number 18. That's correct. Class number 18. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. That's correct. By the way, parenthesis, commercial. Remember about the evaluations we have on the platform, okay? Remember about that. There are some evaluations that we need to send. Are you ready with that? Who is ready? ¿Cómo vamos con las tareas? Con los envíos de tareas. Recuérdense que tenemos pendiente por ahí en plataforma. Are you ready with the info? El me. Um... Yeah. En, solo tengo pendiente el, el examen oral. The oral. Okay. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. That's what I'm checking at this moment. All right. The participation. And remember, there are there is a participation in the forum. And there is also a participation in homework assignment. Let me just give you some feedback on that before we get to the today's contents. Let me check on this one. just to have a refresh on this. Remember that there is a participation in homework assignments, right? That is the third homework assignment that is already active in the platform. And I have so far 14 submissions, all right? I have a submission from Estrella, from Francisco, Paola, Kenya, Miss eh, Kenya Guerrero, Miss Emilia from Kenya Hoya, from Alejandra, Carlos, eh, Lucy, Ashley, Yvette, Erika, Osmar, and Stephanie, right? 14 submissions from this one. So thank you so much for that. And for the rest, you are still pending these submissions. So please don't forget. Apart from this one, there is other uh, about the forum, right? There is a forum, there is a second forum in which we practiced yesterday. The idea was to talk about what your classmate would like to do after finishing the English course, okay? Don't forget about that. If you didn't have the chance to participate with any person, don't worry. Talk about your personal uh, interests, right? I would like to, right? You express interests about you. That is no problem, all right? So you can have the time to participate in this uh, in this activity as well, all right? Recuerda el foro, parte era de la práctica que tuvimos ayer, era obtener información que luego nos iba a servir para plasmarlo acá de forma escrita. Si usted no tuvo la chance ayer de practicar con alguien eh, por algún motivo, no se preocupe, eh, puede hablar acerca de sus intereses en lugar de decir, <coughs> perdón, así como yo puse en mi ejemplo, Luis would like to apply for other position because I am reporting his interest in something. You can talk about your personal interest. There is no problem, all right? Si no tiene con quién, de, con, si no hablo con nadie, reporte su interés personal. A mí me gustaría, right? I would like to. And then you give details about this, right? Instead of details de esa información. In this one, I only have five people participating. All right, I have Kenya Guerrero, I have Lucia, Lucy Presa, I have Erika Santos, and I have Francisco, and I have Yvette, right? Only five people. Solo tengo a cinco que me han participado en el foro. Me faltan, <coughs> perdón, me faltan eh, más. No hemos llegado ni a la mitad acá, así que nada más hacerles el recordatorio que tenemos igualmente activo el foro para que pueda participar por ahí. And the last one, <clears throat> let me check on this one. That's the, no, 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 the homework assignment. It's already checked. It's about yeah, second uh, speaking evaluation. That is the second speaking evaluation, like this one, <clears throat> to talk about the future plans. That's the idea, to talk about the future plans for this end of the year, like for December, what are you planning to do? I am visiting my family. I am having vacations from work. I am working extra hours, you know, different plans or something that you want to do. So that is 
uh, in this one, the oral test. And at, at this moment, I have zero submissions, all right? So please don't forget about this one because tomorrow is the last day to make submissions, all right? So don't miss out on this one, right? En algunas les puse que era el 22, pero todavía habrá extensión para el 23, que sería mañana. Pero sí, mañana sería última fecha para poder hacer sus envíos correspondientes. So please don't forget. Todavía tenemos ahora, after class, tomorrow the complete day, and after that, that's it. Right? Are we clear on this information, guys? Clear, clear, clear. Estamos yes. en, en el entendido? Yes? Yes. Perfect. 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 All right. <clears throat> Let's work together on this one. What were we talking about yesterday? Do you remember? Do you remember about yesterday? What were we talking about? Well. Ah, all right. We were expressing information about would, exactly. Information about would like, all right? And what, what do we use it for? What do we express with would? It's for a desire. desire. Exactly. To express a desire, that's correct. That is what we express on this one. Thank you. Thank you so much. Just give me a second because I need to write check on something for this. All right. Yes, that is information about would and would like. Give me a second because I, I remember I have something ready for you all right let me see okay perfect perfect there we are so we were talking sorry for that we were talking about desires about interest about something now let's think about the next year all right in the next year what would you like to do next year would you like to travel uh would you like to visit any place or would you like to have i don't know what would you like to do let me choose on some people miss paola julissa think about next year 2023 what would you like to do next year miss uh with my co-workers today uh -huh. we are talking about to do a travel to uh -huh. Peru, maybe. Ooh. Amazing. Maybe. And, and what place would you like to visit in Peru? Uh, we want to do um, con una agencia. Uh -huh. agencia. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. You want to contact a travel agency? Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Con and what, agencia. Uh -huh. And what places would you like to visit? Maybe, bueno. Sí está Machu Picchu, el Ajá. desierto de Siete Colores oh. y otros allí. Ajá. Ah, that's amazing. That's amazing. All right. Good, good that you have some plans and you have some interest in doing that. All right. Let's work in hard for that and you can do it. No problem. What about for you, Lucy? Yeah, yeah. Why not? Thank you. Thank you so much. What about for you, Lucy? Uh, what would you like to do next year, Lucy? Next year. Yeah. Uh, I want to like to travel. Mm -hmm. I want to like to rest. <laughs> no, not todo el año, ¿verdad? Pero sí me gustaría. I want to like study English. Uh huh. Seguir. And it seguir trabajando. I want. I want well, to like. I uh -huh. want like to 
working. To, to continue working. Yeah. All right, all right. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. What about for you? Let me see more people. What about for you, Miss Mr. Osmaro? What about you? What would you like to do next year, Mister? <clears throat> I would like to finish uh, my master. Uh -huh. My master is not uh -huh. sure. I would like to uh, talk uh, very good English. Mm -hmm. uh, and would like um, would like to work uh, less. Mm -hmm. <laughs> to work less. Mm -hmm. You're amazing, why not? Yeah. <laughs> All right, thank you. Thank my, you so much. My, <laughs> mm -hmm. Because my job is uh, very, very hard. Mm -hmm. Oh, really? What do you do? Yeah. Uh, I am software engineer. Oh, right. Oh. I work uh, uh, 12 hours, 10 mm -hmm. hours uh, per day. More or less. My goodness, that's a lot. Yeah. All right, all right. Interesting, interesting. So that would be nice, you know, to have a change on this one. Uh, let me ask on one more person before we go for the first practice. What about for you, Miss? Let's see, Herbert, are you ready for practice, Mister? Herbert, Herbert. No. What about for you, Ashley? I would like to go to the beach. Uh huh. I would like to start a new English level next year. Oh, amazing. Amazing. Uh, by the way, people, are you planning to continue next level with the English class? I mean, this month? Yes, or yes. not, or, or, are, or are you taking vacation for the final part of the year? Yes. What are your plans? I, I continue. continue. I continue. Continue, Zamara. What about the rest of you? Are you going to continue or are you going to stop for a short time? Me too, continue. Oh, thank you, Carlos. Continue. Thank you, thank you. All right, perfect, perfect. Remember uh, that it was necessary to send on the documents and everything so we can continue working on the level, right? But if not, it might be until January, probably, all right? Espero que la mayoría, si eh, teníamos igual la intención de seguir con, con el curso, ¿verdad? por lo menos en lo que restaba del año, hayamos podido complementar con los papeles que mis compañeras les solicitaban de administración para poder eh, inscribir, ¿verdad? En esto, en esto que falta del, del, del año. But if not, next year. Si no, pues nos queda para el siguiente año, pero siempre quedamos invitados a continuar. Okay, that's the idea, right? So you continue, continue on this. Now, let me check on this information. Three. <coughs> Tell me, people, are you able to see the yellow screen at this moment? Yes. Can you see the information yes. on the screen? Yeah? Yes. Okay. yes. Perfect, perfect. Thank you so much for that confirmation. Today, we continue practicing some information about wood, right? In this case, wood is possible to make offers, right? We were expressing, I would like to, to express an interest. But also, it's like to make an offer or to make, a, yeah, to make an offer or, or an invitation for something. Help me. How do we order this? Remember, this is a question. How do we order these elements, people? And I need your help. Well, would, uh -huh. Let me would, see. would, would, like, would, like, uh, would, would you? Like. Would you like? Come on, this was too easy, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Was too easy. Yeah. All right. Yeah. And what about the answer? What could be a possible answer for this? Yes, I will. Uh, I will yes. guess. 
Yes, I would. All right, thank you. Perfect. Now, coming back to this one, remember in this case, it is not a routine, right? Because when you express a preference or a routine, you say, do you like, right? Do you like to go to the cinemas? That is a routine. It's, hey, yes, I do. No, I don't. To express a routine. But in this one, it's more like an invitation. Hey, would you like to go to the cinema? Right? That is an invitation, not asking for a routine. Let me ask on this one. Hey, let me see. Miss Estrella, would you like to go? Uh, would you like to go to the cinema? Yes, I will. Ah, perfect. Thank you. Miss, can you make the same invitation to other person in the class, please? Okay, um, Stephanie. Mm -hmm. Yes, uh, I will. <laughs> <laughs> wait, will wait for the question. <laughs> will you like to go to the cinema? Yes, I will. All right, <laughs> interesting. Now, Stephanie, the same, but include the name of the movie. For example, would you would you like to go to the cinema? to watch uh, Avengers, to give you an example, right? Avengers is not on the screen at this moment, right? But you incorporate the name of the movie, just as an example, so the person can think, hey, yes or no. Stephanie, ask, make an invitation to any classmate about the movies, please. Would you like to go to the cinema to watch the um, Toy Story? <laughs> um, <laughs> Erika. Yes, I will. Ah, amazing. Thank you so much. Erika, ask, uh, make other invitation to other person, please. Okay. Um sería para, para Carlos. Okay, to Carlos. Go ahead. Will you like to go to the cinema for Rápidos y Curiosos? <laughs> oh, to watch Fast and Furious. Fast and Furious. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I'm going to lie. Ah, yes, I would. Yes, yes I, would. I would. Yes, I would. All right. Thank you. Thank you so much. You know, good invitations. Let's continue, guys. Let's continue. Let's work on this one. How do we order this one? Everybody? Would you like, would you like, to, eat a would you like to eat a sandwich? Would you like to eat a sandwich? Would you like to eat a sandwich? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Let's see. Oh. Perfect. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. And what is a, what's a possible answer for these people? No, I will not. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Sparrow. What about the rest? What is a possible negative answer for this? Will not, not I. Uh huh. Thank you, Carlos. Uh huh. No. I will not. Will not. Will not. No, I would not try to express no. something like that. One. No, I would no. not. No. Let me ask on this one. Mm -hmm. Yeah, tell me, tell me. Teacher, have esa pregunta. ¿Por qué no puede ser con do? ¿Cómo puedo diferenciar si la puedo hacer con do? Ah, okay, perfect. In this one, remember when we incorporate would, it's like an invitation, like an offer. All right. So it depends on the context. If you want to make an invitation or if you want to offer something, you ask with would for offer, right? But if you ask for preference or if you ask for routine, then you say do, do. Because okay. in that case, you are asking for a preference. For example, Osmaro, hey, do you like to eat sandwiches, Maro? Yes, I do. Ah, yes, I do, right? You express a preference. I okay. am not going to give you a sandwich, right? I am just asking for preference. <laughs> but in the other, okay. hey, Osmaro, would you like to eat a sandwich? Would you like to eat a, eat a sandwich? Yeah. Yeah, okay, here you yes, are. Yes, I will. I give you one. So that's the difference. Offer, 
routine or preference, right? So, okay. so it depends. The two alternatives are correct, but it depends on the context, right? Invitation, offer, or routine or preference. Mm -hmm. Perfect, perfect. Let me see. Let me ask more people. Hey, let me see, Miss Lucy, would you like to eat a tuna sandwich? Tuna, right? You know tuna? The fish, tuna. A tuna, no. right? No. Why not? <laughs> I don't eat marisco. <laughs> ah, and how do you say mariscos, people? How do you say that one? Tuna is, uh huh. You say sorry. Seafood. Yes, correct. Exactly. Tuna is a fish, right? Tuna. But in general, right? You say seafood, right? All animals are edible, right? From. From the sea, all right? All edible animals, right? Animals that you can eat, like shrimp, fish, crabs, oof, a lot of that one. So for Lucy, it's it's a no, right? Thank you. Let me see more people. Hey, Miss Kenya Hoya, Miss Kenya, hello. Would you like to eat a chicken sandwich? Yes, I would like all right, thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you. Let me see. Uh, Miss Paola Julissa, what about you? Would you like to eat a beef sandwich? Yes, I do. Yes, all right. Perfect, perfect. Do you know the meaning of beef, people? Don't translate. But do you know the meaning of beef? Oh, all right. It's meat from cow, right? Like ooh, beef, all right? That, that's correct. That's correct. Yeah. Thank you. You see, I have, I learned, I have other languages to speak. Ya ven, no solo hablo inglés, sino que hablo también ahí otros idiomas. Perfect. Nice, nice. All right, perfect. Now, let's continue. Let's see. <clears throat> Good job on this one. Let's move on to the next one. <clears throat> what about this question? Question, question. How do we order people? Would, would you like? Would you like? Would you like? Would you like? To play would you like? Uh -huh. Play. Play. Play together. All right. And what's the possible answer for this? Exactly. Yes, I will. Yes, I perfect. Will. Perfect. Perfect. Now let's go for this one. Let's go for this practice. Uh, let me see. I need one volunteer to create a question based on this one, right? One volunteer for this one. I can. Thank you, Carlos. Thank you, thank you. Create the question to one of your classmates, please. Would you like to play? Vamos a crear la pregunta, Carlos. La puede leer literal. Would you like to play games? O si usted quiere, en lugar de decir games, sea más específico. Would you like to play uh, soccer? Would you like to play basketball? Or would you like to play video games? Like, be more specific in the final part, if possible. Right, Carlos, ask a question to a classmate. Okay. Would you like to go run in the park? Oh, and what? Uh huh. And who is going to answer? Let's do something. Question for everybody. Hagamos algo para que todos practiquemos al mismo tiempo. Carlos hace la pregunta y la pregunta va a ser para todos. And you respond, yes, I would or no, I wouldn't. Carlos, repeat the question, please. Yeah. <laughs> Would you like to go run in the park? Yes, I would. Yes, I yes, would. I <laughs> yes, I would. All right. Thank you. Thank you so much. Miss Yvette, make, a, make an invitation with these elements, please, for the complete class. Uh, uh, this question? Uh-huh. Yeah. Um, 
Would you like to play um, football <laughs> in this month? Uh -huh. All right, people. What's your answer? Football at this moment? Yes, I will. Well, yes, I No, I will not. <laughs> all right. Yeah. Some yes, some no. All right. Probably tired, you know, probably tired mm -hmm. after the work. I know. I, thank you. Thank you. For Raquel, is no, right? She will not. She wouldn't like that one. The last question, people, to work on this part. Let's see. How do we order this one? All right, perfect, perfect. Everything is okay. And tell me, question yes, for so all of you. you. Would you like to watch TV right now? Yes, I will. No, I will. ¿Quién fue el que dijo? No, sí, Omar, ¿ah? Uh, <laughs> taking notes. I'm taking so, notes. Yeah, taking notes. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. All right. Thank you. Thank you so much. That's good. Good, good, good. Good for this one. Now, people, we have some practice because I need you to continue checking on this information. And for that, let me choose on this one. I share with you a new link to practice with your classmates. All right. The link is over uh, the video conference chat. And give me a second, and I will share this one over the WhatsApp group as well. Let me see. OK. Perfect, perfect. When you open this practice, people, this is what you are going to choose, all right? You are going to choose like, right, to express like a preference or routine, or you can express, or you can select would like to express like an invitation, an interest or something. Let's work on the first one, right? Let's work together on this one. Number one, let's read. Jane. 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 Uh -huh. has uh -huh. The Harry Potter. The Harry Potter. Movies. And movies. And movies. Okay. That is the like the reference. And we have two alternatives. Alternative A. Can we read alternative A? She. She will. Would like. Would like. Harry Potter. All right. Harry Potter. And check on option B. What is. Can we read it? She. She likes. Harry likes. Potter. Okay, perfect. Based on the reference, what is the correct alternative for number one? She likes. She likes. Ah, perfect. Likes. Exactly. She likes Harry Potter. So read the reference, and after that, you are presented with two alternatives. Make the correct selection. That is what you do at this moment. For that one, we will work in groups, so we do something similar to yesterday. We practice in groups, we read, we make a selection, and then we get a score, All right? Let me create on this one. Vamos a hacer algo similar a la práctica del día de ayer. We help each other, nos ayudamos, ¿verdad? Leemos, we read, no Spanish in the practice, you read, you express ideas, make selections and get a score, all right? Traten de eh, comentar ahí las alternativas, vean cuál sería la mejor. Uh, and then you get a score. Cada uno va a obtener un resultado y esta va a ser la cuarta tarea que se tiene que llegar del módulo. Así que les invito a que lo hagan de la mejor forma para obtener una muy buena calificación. ¿okay? Lo tenemos que subir a escuela. A Schoology, correcto. En Schoology, de hecho, ya tenemos aquí configurada la cuarta tarea, que es ese enlace que yo les estoy compartiendo ahorita. Si usted saca ya la, en la captura, ya solo le queda pendiente de subirla posterior. Uh -huh. Ok. Ok, perfect. People, are you ready for practice? Yes. Yeah? Yeah? All right, perfect. Let's begin at this moment. Thank you so much. And good job. And let's keep on working hard. Thank you. Thank you. 
Ya te lo estaba contando, te quería, te voy a ver. Ya Teacher, I disconnect the group. Help me, please. Yes, 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 no problem. Let me see. I will switch uh, to one and put you back. La voy a mover a uno y la regreso para que pueda ingresar al mismo grupo donde estaba. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Mm -hmm.
All right, all right. I see more people coming to the main room. So tell me, how was the practice, everybody? Everything okay in the practice? Yeah, teacher. Okay, teacher. Everything. Oh, perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Let me see. I'm just having some technical issues at this moment with my presentation. I don't know why. All right. Uh, if remember, if you have the chance to upload your uh, your score to the Schoology, that's amazing. But if not, don't worry, you have time to do it, right? So you may do it after the class or you may do it uh, tomorrow. There is no problem on that one. Let me just check on this one because just know what's going on with my presentation at this moment. It's crazy. Let me see. Let me just switch back to this one. All right, class 18. Check on this one, guys. Uh, check on that lady over there in the presentation. And... How does she feel at that moment? Check on her. Is she happy? Oh, she's no. angry. Oh, she's angry. Why do you think she's angry? Why? Give me an idea. Use your imagination. Why is she angry? Uh, and Hada. Uh, yeah, of course. Yes, yes, yes. But why? Use your imagination. Why is she angry? What is the reason? Maybe she has an issue or a problem. Uh huh. An issue and a problem. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Mrs. Sophia. Francisco, you were saying? Yes. Uh -huh. he... No sé, no sé qué le van ya. I don't. She is on the chucky, teacher. <laughs> she, my kid, she doesn't want to take a shower. Yeah. All right, all right. She doesn't want to take a shower. No problem. It could be. All right. It could be. Now, check on this one. Let's have an objective for today's session. Let's read together, everybody. I will be able. I will be able to report. Report. Uh -huh. report a problem. To report a problem. Make questions. Oh, all right. Thank you so much. So that's the idea. We uh, report a problem uh, using formal language and make polite. When you talk about polite, you say in a good manner, right? In a good manner, right? That is the idea. Educated, right? That is the form to make a request, to make a petition, right? So check on this one. I have a video at this moment for you and let's watch on this one. And I need your help to pay attention to the situation, right? Think about the situation and everything that is happening. Then we have some vocabulary to check on this one. Let me switch back to this on my screen. All right, now let me check if we have sound. Could you listen to that, people? Yes. 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 Okay, perfect. Let's watch the video. Remember, pay attention to the general situation and try to get the idea. All right? Try to get the general idea and check on different expressions. That's all I need at this moment. Thank you so much.
Dealing with an upset customer may be the most difficult aspect of customer service. Hi, this is Jason. How can I help you this afternoon? You tell me. But you people have charged me again for the same fees I've been calling about for months now. I'm sick and tired of being told that it's handled when pretty clearly it's not. That's not easy to even listen to. So how do you respond to it in a way that will help? First, remember that the customer isn't upset with you. They're upset with the situation. Don't take it personally. Then remind yourself that angry customers often struggle to be objective. So before trying to resolve the problem, it's important to diffuse the customer's frustration. So how do you do that? Start by allowing the customer to vent. It isn't easy and it's rarely pretty, but try not to interrupt or contradict the customer, even if you believe they're wrong. Confrontation will lead to escalation, and the goal is to calm the customer down so you can look for a solution. I'm so sorry to hear that. Let me take a look at your account and find out what's going on. Can you remind me when this started? Fine. The first fee showed up three months ago. If you can't fix this, I'm going to close the account. I completely understand your frustration. Let me see what I can do to help get this taken care of for you right now. Listening and responding with empathy helps diffuse the customer's frustration. This is one of the quickest ways to de-escalate tension. Listening with an open mind and expressing your understanding lets your customer know that you acknowledge their problem. Respond with your positive intent to take action to resolve the problem as best you can. Keep your focus on the customer and follow through on your desire to help them. I'm glad I was able to get that issue taken care of. It may take up to 24 hours for your account to show the changes, but you shouldn't see any more of these fees in the future. Thanks for working with me to figure it out. I want to apologize again for the inconvenience. Thanks, Jason. I appreciate your help. By removing the focus from yourself and staying focused on understanding and resolving the customer's problem, it's easier to stay detached and not get wrapped up in an emotional outburst. Maintaining an attitude of caring and concern helps to diffuse customer frustration. Allow them to vent as needed. Listen and respond with empathy. You'll never be able to work in customer service without running into angry, frustrated customers once in a while. But there are ways you can ease the tension and allow you both to work toward an acceptable solution. All right, people, thank you so much for paying attention to the video. Tell me, what was the general situation about this lady? What was going on? How was she feeling? Was she happy? How was she feeling? Angry. Angry. And why? Why was she angry? Mm. Frustrated? Yeah, she was frustrated. Yes, she was frustrated. But what is the reason? Do you remember something that happened to her? So they can uh, resolve your problem. Resolve the problems, exactly. But the problem about what? What was the problem about? Hmm? Account about an account yes correct the problem is about an account check on this one check on the this short part and then we have more info check on this one this is jason how can i help you this afternoon 
You tell me. I'm looking at my new statement, and I see that you people right. have. She's checking at the new statement, right? That is the, the, all the information for the transactions, all right, in the bank. That's why she's angry, all right? And tell me, at the end of the video, was there a solution for her problem? No. No. All right. Thank you. What about the rest? What do you think? What do you remember? Was there a solution for the problem? Mm -hmm. Not a, a solution, but it, uh -huh. the just 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 uh -huh. just say um for for tranquilizarla nada más. Just just to relax, just yes, just to calm, right. just just to calm her. Yeah. All right, all right, all right. Thank you, thank you so much. Thank you so much. All right. Actually, there was like a a probable solution because she, she's going he's going to help, right? He's going to check on that one, and there is a possible solution for her situation. Tell me, do you have do you interact with angry customers at your work? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Employees. And empl oh. oh, employees. What kind of employees? Your boss? Mm, no. The mm. technical. Uh, Ah, son como los, los técnicos de las líneas, algo así. Right. De las líneas de producción. Ok. So they sometimes are angry at you. Uh, for any situation mm -hmm. uh, of the plant. Ok. Ok. Thank you. Thank you so much. What about the rest of you people? Do you do you uh, interact with angry people at your work? Yes. 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 <laughs> and how do you handle that situation? ¿Cómo manejan la situación? How do you handle the situation? Do you get more? Uh, do you get angrier? Uh, more? More than them? Or what do you do? He. Uh, he. he uh, um in my, in my, in my, my case is I uh, keep um, keep uh, uh, the calm keep calm uh -huh. talk, talk about uh, keep um, keep a calm mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, yeah, uh, that that is. Uh, mm -hmm. Don't that is, don't don't put a uh, angry be versus angry. Mm -hmm. All right, that's a good alternative, you know, to keep calm so the situation probably uh, doesn't escalate, right? Doesn't get worse. All right, thank you, thank you so much. Now, after checking on that video. Let me share with you some information, some useful phrases for this one. Check on this one. We have some vocabulary. And what is the vocabulary about? What is the vocabulary? Here, here are expressions you yeah. can use when complain. Uh -huh. uh, exactly. And do you know what complain means? What is the meaning of complaining? You express something when you are happy, is that complain? Or you express something when you are angry? Expression is angry. Angry, exactly, all right? Let's check on this one and let's practice. The first one that you can use at this moment is this one. Listen and repeat after me. I have a complaint to make. I have a complaint, have a to, complaint make. to make. I have a complaint to make. 
Thank you. But what happened to the rest? I only listened like to three people. What's going on with the rest? One more time, one more time. And I want to listen to all of you. Listen and repeat. I have a complaint to make. I have a complaint to make. Thank you. Second, listen and repeat. Sorry to bother you, but... Sorry, Sorry to brother, brother, you bother. Bother. Ah, uh, bother. <laughs> yeah. No, no brother, no brother. <laughs> bother, right? Bother. <laughs> right? Check that down. On. Bother, right? <laughs> disculpe, disculpe que lo molestes. Bother, el verbo molestar, right? Sorry to bother. Uh -huh. Sorry to bother you. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. And, yeah, bother, no brother. Right? Well, hey, teacher, ahí le falta una R, teacher. The brother to mother. No, come on. Sorry to bother teacher, you, se equivocó en la presentación, You're teacher. Right, no, bad, no le puso teacher. brother. <laughs> no, no. That is the new one. Probably it's new for you, right? Bother. That is the verb, right? Bother. Cuando algo incomoda o algo molesta, right? Sorry to bother. But disculpe que lo moleste en lo que está diciendo la persona. Sorry to bother you, right? And then that is like an introduction, right? Como una introducción. And then you explain. Sorry to bother you, but my cell phone is not working, all right? So you can, you can use this phrase for an introduction for something. Number three, listen and repeat. I'm sorry to say this, but... I'm sorry to I'm say sorry this, but... This, but... Thank you. Next one. Let's continue with the practice. I'm afraid there is a slight problem with. I'm afraid there is a slight problem with. Exactly. Thank you so much. Check on this one. When we talk about slight, it's similar to say small. Right? I'm afraid there is a slight, there is a small problem. That is other word for you to learn. Slight, small. That is the info. All right. Uh, did we practice this one? Yeah? Yes. All right. Thank you. Thank you so much for the feedback. Let's continue with the next. Uh, next expression should be this one. Listen and repeat. Excuse me, but there is a problem about. Excuse me, but there is a problem about. there is a problem about. Thank you. Number six, I want to complain about. I want to I complain, want to complain, about. complain about. about. I want to complain about. All right. Thank you, thank you. And the last one, I'm angry about. I'm angry I'm about. I'm angry about. about. Okay. about. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank you so much. Think about this one. Imagine you have internet problem. Does anybody work at Tigor Claro here? People from Tigor Claro? No? No. All right. No. All right. Mm -hmm. From Movistar. No tenemos nadie de Tigor Claro. Okay. No, vamos, vamos a hablar de ahí. No, es que se enoje. No. Hey. No. Yeah. Okay. Claro. Perfect. Perfect. <laughs> Imagine you have internet okay. problems in your house. Right? Internet problem. And you are calling the company. What expression do you use? ¿Qué expresión utilizaría si están si el internet terrible internet? What expression would you use? I am angry about. <laughs> you bet. Really? Oof, 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 oof. All right. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Check on the other one. All right. Imagine you are at the supermarket and the cashier charges you more money, right? La cajera le cobró de más, de cashier, o la cajero, el, o la cajero, right? Charges you more money. What expression do you say to the manager? I'm sorry to say this, but... I am afraid. <laughs> All right, I'm sorry. I'm afraid there is a problem. All right. Thank you. Thank you so much. Now... You want to complain for something with a co-worker. What expression do you use? In your work. Imagine there is a problem in your work and you want to complain. What expression do you use? Be honest. Be honest. So, what expression? Sorry to bother you, but... <laughs> ah, sorry to bother you. Ah, really. Very polite. Very polite. <laughs> 
<laughs> but that is for the boss, right? That is for the boss. <laughs> Come on. Excuse me. Uh -huh. There is a problem about. <laughs> okay. Thank you so much. All right. All right. I want to complain about. Okay. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. All right. That's great. Now, after this one, there are there is other parts about the vocabulary. Check on this one. The next part. Let me see on this one. There are expressions. What are these expressions about people? Expressions to? Respond to complain. Exactly, exactly. Because there are two roles. One person is making a complaint and the other person, you know, it's probably trying to help, right? That is like the two roles in a situation. Check on this one. Let's uh, listen and practice about this. This is to respond, to give a positive response, all right? Listen to this one. I'm sorry, but this will never happen again. I'm Everybody? sorry, but this, sorry? this will never happen again. One more time, one more time, listen and repeat. I'm, I'm so sorry, but this will I'm never happen again. I'm so sorry, I'm sorry but this will never happen again. Happen again. All right, thank you. Listen and repeat. I'm sorry, we promise never to make the same mistake again. I'm sorry, I promise never to make the same mistake again. Thank you. Number three, listen and repeat. I'm really sorry, we'll do our best not to do the same mistake again. All right, thank you so much. Give me a second. Tell me, people, if you are really angry for a situation, right? Imagine you are the customer and you are angry. Which expression is the best to calm you, right? You listen to this and say, okay, that's good. ¿Cuál expresión de esta creen que los calma más usted si usted estuviera molesto quejándose por algo? Nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Any of this is better for you? ¿Alguna de estas será mejor para ustedes para calmarles a esa pequeña molestia que tienen? <laughs> Or no? Um, maybe the two. Yeah, maybe, maybe too. Never I to need to resolve me. <laughs> Mistake again. All right, thank you. Probably you need like more motivation, right? Probably hey, give me something like to be happy, right? Si no dan algo en compensación, probably, ah, it's like, okay. <laughs> right? Okay, we're happy for that. Thank you. Thank you so much, people. Uh, now, let's see how good your memory is. This is part of the first expressions. Let me see. In number one, what word is missing? I have a complain. Complain, complain or complaint? Complain. complain. Yes. Thank you. What about the number two? What word is missing? Bother. 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 No brother. No brother. No brother. No brother. No, no brother. Hey brother. No. Bother. Right. Bother. bother. Sorry to bother you. Exactly. Thank you. What about the number four? Slide. Yes. Slide. Yeah, yes. Perfect. Slide. Thank you. Slide. Right. Slide. And what is other other word to say is light? Problem. Problem. Uh, uh, no problem. Uh, 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 small. 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 Exactly. Right. Small. That's correct. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, what about for number five? It was obvious. And you told problem. me already. Problem. Yeah. Problem. Exactly. Yes, problem. What about on number six? What is missing? I want. I want to complain. complain. Perfect. Number seven. Again. Again. Okay. Um, angry, angry, angry. Um, angry. <laughs> angry. 
<laughs> yeah. <laughs> Finally, no. Or something like that. No, not for food. I'm angry. Angry. Uh, yeah, exactly. Like the illustration. I'm angry about. Hey, okay? okay. good memory, people. Good memory. What about on this one? What is missing in number one? Happen. 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 No? Happen. Happen again. Exactly. Happen. Okay. Thank you. What about the expression for number two? Promise. 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 There you Promise. are, right? Promise. 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 Exactly. <laughs> and on the last one, what is missing? Yes. Yes. Perfect. 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 That's correct. Talking about best. Thank you. Thank you so much. Now, after checking on this vocabulary, let's see some information from a conversation to see some expressions in context. All right. Now, we're working on the book. And what page are we working on, people? Check on the reference. What is that? Perfect. 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 Now, let's see. There are some people participating in this conversation. What are the names of the people in the conversation? Max. Joe. Exactly. Joe. Thank you. We have Max and Joe. Let me see. Let me highlight some information just for a practice and then we have the conversation. Let me see. Let me check on this one. Check on this one as well. This one, this one, this one as well. Okay, perfect. Check on the yellow, uh, the yellow expressions at this moment on this one. How do you say the first one, people? Check. The first one, you say? Check. Check. Tech. Exactly, right? Tech. Perfect, perfect. Tech, hey, amazing. Nicely done. Tech, tech, tech. What about on the second yellow expression? How do we say this? Receive. Ah, check on this one. We say received. 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 Yeah. Exactly. Something like this one. Let me give you an example so you have an idea. You say something like this one. Received. Something like this. Just to give you an approximate, all right? Received. Para que tengan un aproximado, como lo decimos? Received. Después de lo vamos al un sonido. Received. Received. Uh -huh. What about the next one? The next yellow phrase. How do we say that? Setting up. Setting up. Setting up. Setting up. Thank you. Setting Check up. on this one. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Check on this one. Remember the combination of sounds. Setting it up. Setting. Setting it. Setting it up. Setting up. Setting it up. Setting up. All right, check on that one, all right? Let's do something. Let's divide it. Let's divide it. Vamos a dividir. The first one. Listen and repeat after me. Setting. 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 One more time. Setting. 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 Include Setting. second expression. Listen. Setting it. Setting it. Setting it. One more time. Setting, Setting it. Setting, Setting it. it. Setting it. Three words. Setting it up. 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 How do we say this one? The next yellow expression. Mm -hmm. 
Uh -huh. Yes. In that case, you make a uh, you spell right M X thirty. I just you go like that M X thirty because that is the name. So you go for spelling on that one. Check on the next yellow information. How do we say that one? Floating. Mm -hmm. Floating. Thank you. Check on this one. Listen and repeat. You say plugged, plugged, plugged in, plugged in, plugged in, plugged in. Plugged in. Plugged in. Plugged in. Uh -huh. plugged in. Plugged in. Plugged in. Exactly. Plugged in. Plugged, plugged in. And in that case, when you say plugged in, it's similar to say connected, right? Check that the core, like this one, imagine this case. This is not the power, not, not, for, a, not for energy, but this is a, a cord. And the person is saying, check that the power cord plugged. is connected, right? It's plugged in, right? Plugged. It's plugged in, right? Like that one, right? Check that the power cord plugged. is plugged in, right? Connected. Sure. That is what the person is saying in that, right? Now, uh, the last one, how do you say the last yellow expression? Try. Try. How do we say? Uh -huh. Try. 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 Thank Try. you. Thank you, thank you. You call it tray. 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 Mm -hmm. Tray. Listen and repeat. Tray. Listen and repeat. Tray. 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 Thank you. Thank you, thank you so much. All right, now people, after checking those uh, expressions, is there any new expression for you in this conversation? Teacher. Tell me. Ulti page. Ah, ulti page. That is, part of, that is part of the name of the machine, right? Ulti page. Mm -hmm. It's part of the proper name. So probably there is no like a specific meaning, right? But that is uh, the name. No problem on that one. It's prácticamente el nombre de, de, del, del dispositivo, ¿verdad? No sería como una palabra tal cual con un significado. Ulti page. Mm -hmm. Any yeah, other? Uh -huh. Any other expression, people? No more expressions? All right, let's do something. Let's have a conversation practice. Let me see at this moment. The ladies, you will be max, right? The ladies will have max participation and all the boys will be Joe in this short conversation. So we alternate and we practice at this moment. Are you ready for practice, people? Yes. yes. All right. Tell me, who is Max in the conversation? The ladies or the boys? Ladies. 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 All right. And boys, what participation do you have? No. Joe. Perfect, perfect. Ladies, let's begin. Ready, set, go. Hello. Hello. Hi, Max. My name is Joe. I work for Pay that Pips that come. come. That is the name. El nombre uh -huh. We received received the new brain. New brain thing. And uh -huh. I need help setting it up. Could you help me, please? Mm -hmm. Thank you. Ladies? No problem, Joe. No problem, Joe. No no Let me check. Can you all 
on a Thank you. second, Hold on. please. Second, please. Mm -hmm. Up it uh, and it's on full page. M X third. Third. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. First, make sure that the power, that the power cord is flowing. Flowing in. Flowing. Is that for your voice? That is much participation. You are Joe. <laughs> Yes. Sleeping. All right, <laughs> it is. I guess that is your participation. <laughs> Sorry. Huh? Uh, to... Ladies, ladies. No. Uh -huh. <laughs> it's for boys. It's for boys at this moment. <laughs> All right, <laughs> it is. All right, it is. All right, it is. Tell me what, me what I, need I need to do next. To do please. next, please. Mm -hmm. All right, thank you, thank you. Now, just to have a complete practice with everybody, I read the participation and then you practice after me, but I need everybody's collaboration, please. Everybody's okay. collaboration. Right. Let's practice one more time as a class. Listen and repeat, complete participation. Hello, this is Max from Tech Support. How can I help you? Hello, Hello. this is Max oh, from this Tech Support. Hello. Hello. How can I help you? Help you. I remember, help you, help you. That is the practice, right? Mm -hmm. Remember that one. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank you. Let's continue. Hi, Max. My name is Joe. I work for pips.com. We received a new printer and I need help setting it up. Could you help me, please? Hi, Max. Hi, Max. Hi, Max. Hi, Max. Hi, Max. Joe. I work for no problem, Joe. Could you tell me the model? No problem, Joe. Let me check. Uh, can you hold on a second, please? Uh, it's a multi-page MX30. Let me check. Okay. First, make sure that the power cord is plugged in. Okay. All right, it is. Could you tell me what I need to do next, please? All right. All right. Second, check that the installation CD is in the tray. And third, once the menu appears on the screen, Click on complete install. Thank you. Listen and repeat the the, the blue expression received. 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 Uh -huh. received. No receive, uh-uh, receive. Receive. Receive, receive, right? Double check on that receive. one. Thank you. My tip, complete, uh, write something like a comment next to the word to remember. That is going to help you a lot, right? Something like this one. Recuérdense poner un su comentario ahí o un, o un aproximado de cómo se pronuncia la palabra. Eso le ayudará que la siguiente vez que usted la vea, 
tengo una noción de cómo mencionarla, ¿ok? Porque en la clase se nos hace bien eh, práctico y, se, y como está fresco, lo pronunciamos bien. Pero ya el siguiente día, ¿qué pasa cuando vuelvo a ver la palabra? Es como, como la estábamos diciendo allá, ni me acuerdo cómo la mencionábamos. Pero si usted tiene una nota ahí en, sus, en, 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 su, en su libro, eso le va a ayudar para tener una noción, ¿ok? Receive, receive. Por eso póngale un aproximado de cómo usted... Eh, Entiende cómo se escucha la pronunciación. Received. Mm -hmm. okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. That's great. Now, people, let's work together on something easy. Tell me, how do we complete these questions? These are from the conversation. How do we complete? What is missing? Can you tell me? Uh -huh. Can you tell me? Mm -hmm. Can you tell me? All right, thank you. And what about for the second one? How do we complete? Okay. Mm -hmm. Could you tell me? Mm -hmm. All right. Check on this one. For number one, there are two alternatives. Actually, there is no problem. We can say, could you tell me? Or can you tell me? What about for the second one? What were your options? Cool. Cool. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Exactly. It's possible to say could. But there is other alternative to say can, right? Can you describe the problem, please? Or could you describe the problem, please? Tell me, people. But what is the difference? Why sometimes could and why sometimes can? Podrías o puedes. Mm -hmm. That is in translation, correct. But what is like the function? What is the message you want to express? Una posibilidad. A possibility? Yeah. Mm -hmm. It might be. It might be. Uh -huh. Oh, all right. Thank you. That's a good comment. That's a good comment. Sure, sure. Perfect, perfect. Uh -huh. For uh, availability. Ah, it's possible in uh, some uh, context for abilities. Mm -hmm. It's possible in a context. Yes, why not? Check on this one. I just have other short video for you to check on this information just to get the right idea of this one. Let me switch on the screens quickly just to show this to you. All right. Uh, can you see Do the you video? Can you see the information in the video? Yes. 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 Perfect. Perfect. Let's watch the video to discover the difference, right? When we can use can and, and could. Check on this one. Keep. Thank you so much. To ask for help. Learn how to use modal verbs to ask for help and make other requests. Listen for can and could in this story. Last Saturday, before I went to the library, I called my friend and asked to use his bike. Hi, Matt. Can I borrow your bike? Sure. On my way to the library, I got lost. Excuse me, could you please give me directions to the library? Of course. Go straight and then turn right. The library is on the left. There are several modal verbs we use to make requests. Can and could are two of them. Could is more polite than can, but adding please to any request makes it more polite. Unlike other modal verbs for requests, we can use both you and I after can and could. Can you help me with my homework? Can I borrow your car? Could you lend me a hand? Could I speak to your manager, please? Click pause and rearrange the words to create a request. 
All right, something quick on this one. Using can and could. Check on this one, this information. There is a conversation and who is she talking to? Who is this person? Are they family members, brother and sister? With her friend. Maybe, maybe we're uh, friend. It's talking about a friend, all right? That is the reference. And check on this one. What is the word the person is using to make a request, to make a petition? Can. 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 Ah, all right. So with friends, it's possible to say can. Check on the next one. Next uh, participation. Is this, is this person her friend? Are no. they friends? No. 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 No, 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 no. And what is the expression to make a petition, to make a request? Cool. 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 Exactly. So tell me, in these expressions, you make a request, you make a petition. Which is more formal, can or could? Cool. 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 All right. And when you want to make a request with can, what kind of people can you make requests to? ¿Con quiénes podríamos hacer este tipo de peticiones utilizando quién? Friends or family. Friends or family. family. Friends or family. All right. And if you want to make a request to the teacher, can or could? Cool. Cool. But why are you laughing? Le da risita a cool. Así que le quieren decir quién. Hey, teacher. Hey, teacher. Can you? Ah, I know. No problem. It depends. It depends on the confidence or the, the type of relationship you have with the person. If there is some confidence, some trust, you can go for Ken. All right. But with new people, with your boss, it's possible or it is recommendable to say cool. Right. That is the best expression. Vea que por ahí va a depender de con quién usted esté hablando o a quién está haciendo una petición. Si es su chero, su amigo, su familia, a veces uno utiliza el can. Hey, can you? No problem. Right? To make a petition. But for uh, in other context, like something, someone important, you go for good. Vea que si está hablando con alguien de respeto, un jefe o una persona con quien usted habla por primera vez, the best is good. Right? That could be like the best expression for that. Clear about this one? Questions, questions? No. No, easy. All right. Check on this one. Let's work together on this exercise. What is the structure to make a petition, to make a request? We the first element for really formal is could. What is cool. next after could? No subject. Subject, plus subject plus and then plus complement. Compliment. Compliment. Exactly. Thank you so much. Let's work together. Let's read the examples. Example number one. Could, could you write could this report? Write this report, please? Write this report please. Exactly. And remember, to be more formal, you can incorporate the last element and say, please that creates uh, or that gives more formality to that request, more formality for the petition. That is to be really polite. Please, 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 please. That is better. Second example, please, everybody. Second, second. Could you deliver? Could please, you? Could you deliver? Could you deliver? The letters, the letters, the letters, the letters, please. Exactly. Could you deliver this letter, please? Thank you. Thank you so much. And that's correct. Now, check on the other one. When you want to make informal, that is the other part, informal requests, what is the auxiliary, if you remember? Can. 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 And what is the correct order for this one? The first element is? Can. Can. Then? Subject. Plus. Complement. 
There you are. Perfect, perfect, perfect. And example number one for this one. Can you write this report, please? Exactly. And example number two. Can, can you help deliver this letter? Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank you so much. That's the correct order. And remember, it is good to incorporate the word please when you make a request, when you make a petition, right? That is to be even more polite, more polite on, the, on this one. All right, let's do something. Let's move people for a speaking practice. Because, you know, after checking on this one, we practice a lot. Let me share one more link to you. Let me see. No, this is the one. The last practice for today. Check on that part. All right. I need your help to access the link. And this is what we do. We have different situations. And let me see this one. Something like this. There is a spinning wheel. What's the instruction, right? The instruction, can we read it, please? In the, in the center of the circle, le damos la instrucción. Read. Read the situation and make uh -huh. a request. Exactly. Make a request. Make a petition. You have this on your devices. So you click on spin. Click on spin. This is the example, right? And I have a situation, right? Your computer makes a strange noise. That is the situation. And the rest of the class is going to make a petition for that. All right? Can you or could you? Let's do it as an example. This is the situation. What request can you make? ¿Qué podrían solicitar basado en esta situación? Can you help mm -hmm. me, please? Yeah, no problem. Let's make a petition, right? Imagine this one. Imagínese esta situación. Your computer is making a strange noise. All right? What oh, petition can you make? Can you, can you help, help me with a computer? Computer? Huh? Why not? Mm -hmm. Hey, boss, could you change my computer? Could you buy a new one? Why not? Mm -hmm. That is a petition. Can I use other computer for today? Other could petition. Could you buy me a new computer? Exactly. Why not? That is what you do. So at this moment, people, this is what we work on in breakup rooms. Vamos a trabajar una última práctica en grupos. And that's what you do. You spin the wheel. Y después le va a eliminar para que nos quite aquí a la situación. Cada uno va a ir girando la, la ruleta en su dispositivo y le lee la situación a los compañeros. Y todos los demás se encargan de hacer una petición, así como lo hicimos ahorita en práctica, como lo hicimos en grupos. You work together and you make requests. All right? Are we clear about the practice? Yes. Yeah? Yes. All right. Perfect, perfect. We will have five minutes for that one. Five minutes is enough. Five minutes for that. All right. Cinco minutos y regresamos acá a la sala principal. Try to make as many requests as possible. Thank you so much.
Okay, okay. Thank you so much, people, for returning to the main room. Tell me, how many requests did you make? How many? Five, six, three, ten. How many requests? Three. Three. All right. What about the rest of you? How many requests did you make? Three. Three. All Three. right. Okay. Thank you. Thank you so much. A nicely done, people. Listen, tomorrow we have more practice about making requests and everything. So we continue, you know, learning and practicing a lot about this. Now, before we leave, I just want to announce that we are about to finish on this English course. And for that reason, tomorrow something special is happening. Do you know what that is? There is a surprise. Yes, there is a surprise. <laughs> Tomorrow, people, we have the written exam. As always, and as the previous time, you wait for me because we have practice in the first time of the class. I explain to you and then you do the test, right? That is the process as the previous time. Si se recuerda, va a ser igual a la vez anterior. Vamos a tener práctica durante la clase. Luego yo les doy las instrucciones de cómo completar su examen. Y la parte final, ustedes tienen el tiempo para que puedan completar su evaluación. Todo va a ser hecho en clase, así que no se adelante porque puede ser que no tengamos tal vez claro cómo realizar alguna parte y no tengamos una calificación eh, tan alta como se espera. Así que lo hacemos durante clases. Are we clear for that one? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Perfect. Yes. Are you... Tell me, tell me. Go ahead, Ibe. Uh, I have a question uh, oh. about speaking evaluation. Uh -huh. uh, in this case, ¿qué temas o qué vamos a utilizar presente continuo? Present continuous. Present continuous to talk about future plans for for this last part of the year. Like for December, what are your plans for December? It could be personal plans, like I am visiting the beach on December 24th, or it could be plans about for work. I am working extra hours next week, right? Or I am not working on the 25th, right? So you mm. express plans, okay. personal and work plans. That's it. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank mm -hmm. you. All right, all right. So, people, I appreciate your help to be here in the class. Thank you so much. You can go and relax and rest. But if, if you haven't submitted the homework, don't no, sleep. Se puede ir casi que a dormir, pero si no me he hecho las tareas, entonces no se me duerma todavía. <laughs> no, but you have tomorrow. Todavía tiene chance para mañana, durante el día. Así que no se preocupe, pero no olvide hacer sus entregas. People, it was an honor working with you today, so... Have a good night's sleep and see you tomorrow. Take care. Thank you, teacher. Good night. Good night. See you, everybody. Good night. Have a good night. Thank you.